Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ghostbusters the Video Game. In the previous episode, we went to Shandor Castle on a mysterious island in the middle of the Hudson River, only to end up separated from our teammates, whom we must now rescue. And boy, do we have some stuff ahead of us. What is this? Well, that didn't sound good. First artifact, huh? These slime, these jars of slime sing a wordless barbershop style harmony. The origin of these colorful jars of slime is not known, but it can't be all bad. I mean, they're saying barbershop, right? You say so. I'm not saying barbershop quartet's bad, it's eh, fairly decent depending on who's actually singing it. But anyways, we gotta make our way up. Cult was working some crazy experiments in here. Up here. There's blue slime, pink slime, yellow slime, but every ghost in here is coated with black slime. What's generating it all? Where's it all coming from? Where are you seeing these different colors of slime? The only other different colors I've seen are well the jars I just picked up. Yep, here they come. These guys. These guys love to run inside those fans and appear somewhere else in the level. And they love to do it a lot. My honest advice, shut down the portals to take care of the black slime zombies. Except we're not shoving them in a tiny little box. We're destroying them with slime. Uh, yeah, these guys love to go back and forth, back and forth in their little fans. It's kind of why I ended off the last episode early, because of these guys. I mean, don't get me wrong, from their perspective, that's the smart thing to do. Hit your enemy fast and then disappear as quick as you can before they can take you out. But we're not playing the ghosts. We're playing the ghost busters. Ah, oh, jeez, Winston, where are you, pal? Over here! That was funnily enough time. Funnily time to however you want to call it. Yeah, I see him, and he's probably going to run away before we can take him down. Or not. Yeah, he's too high up for us to hit. Of course, by the time I get up there, he'll have disappeared. Yeah, sometimes these guys can end up disappearing to the other side of a level or the area. That really showed well on your review. I think you're really turning some heads back at headquarters. Man, what are these spooks up to? I get the whole mandala immortality and power, but what's up with all the stuff Ah, this island's got to be sitting directly on a cross-dimensional portal. Right. I hear you guys. Yes, that sounds like my equipment. You're getting close. Well, how nice of that ghost. I don't want to be eaten by black slime. Egon, hang on. We're almost to you. Nice of that ghost to open the door for us. Thank you. This is going to reflect well on your performance review. In most cases, I find close proximity to mildew stimulating. That was a little much, though. Have you seen Beck? Well, you know. Have you looked for him? Well... You know, the meter seems to indicate that he's somewhere in this direction. 
Yeah, how does that work exactly? Guys, uh, I can't get that working for me. Oh, yay, another one of these. <sighs> I probably don't need to say how much I don't like dealing with it. Anyways, while these guys focus on the ghosts, I'm gonna focus on taking out the portal. The portals. And the slime zombies. Yeah, I'm aware I'm being chased. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, alright, I'm on my way. Keep your panties on. Oh. Yeah, that might explain what took out Egon. Huh, that's new. These guys can spew black slime at ya. Ah, crap. I walked through some black slime. Well, at least that portal disappeared on its own. Okay, this fight not as difficult as the last one. Well, let me rephrase that. It wasn't as annoying as the last one. Typically, if you have trouble finding these guys, just follow the AI because... This machinery indicates an astounding level of sophistication. Pure evil notwithstanding, Ebo Shandor was far ahead of his time. You know I have to take my hat off to Shandor? This lab was built how many years ago? It's truly impressive. It's likely Shandor was the parapsychology expert of his time. Stay in the light, Egon. I'm trying, Winston. Should we try to find Peter, or...? Probably stashed him around here somewhere. More of those zombies, huh? Help! Yo, little help! Shh. I think I hear. Did somebody call a break? Yep, that's Binkman, all right. Now we're sure about this, right? We need to be at full strength to shut down this node. Way to go! I feel a momentum swing here in our favor. Get out there and find the Mandela node and shut it down. That should really piss someone off. Figures Peter would be the only one to escape unscathed. We got places to go, people to meet. Can we move out of here? Great job, kid. Glad to hear Peter's okay. What are they doing? The readings are as big as those at the library when we crossed over. I think it's safe to assume that the machine they're working on was not built for a benign purpose. It's an orrery, a device typically used for predicting planetary alignment. In this case, it appears to actually be aligning dimensions. I, for one, do not want the dimensions to align. Not this close to Christmas. That would put a damper on the holidays. How do we shut that thing down? The motion of those devices seems to be generating some sort of energy. Hard to tell, though. What if we tried locking those things down? I can calculate 54 likely outcomes. We'd survive three of them. That beats our usual odds. Unfortunately, you're correct. Let's do it. All right, take the slime deathers. Like the Boom. Those spheres are stabilizing the interior structure. What if they stop moving? So far, this Gooby Island has been a slime tether amusement park. Why should that change now? I don't know if I'd go that far, Winston. We, yes, we've had to use it for some puzzles, but not Lock that many. Those down, man. Yes, you did. How come people smart enough to use science always try to take over the universe? Huh? Egon, great. Anyone? Didn't think so. Wait, those planets are aligning. I'm not so sure this is the safest course of action. A little late for that. I By the way, found the source of the black slime, Winston. I wasn't that curious. The whole room's filling up. Get to higher ground. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, it's official. This was a bad idea. 
like I was saying earlier, stick close to the ladders, or try and say earlier. Um, now all we can do is wait. Guess what time it is? It's horrible. It smells like the Fulton fish market when they've got fish. Wait, I know that dumpster. A putrid mass of hatred, bile, and anger. Not exactly Mrs. Sunshine, is it? This is the part where we do what we do. Love it. Hmm. Alright, start blasting it. Start by blasting the eyeballs. Yeah, I know. We've got to cut off his visine. Somebody chop some onions. Giving me the evil eye, huh? And see that glowing point? We gotta get him to expose it so we can blast it with slime. It's got to be vulnerable somewhere. Statistically speaking, that's not entirely accurate. Ow. Statistically speaking, we better hope it is. Okay, fair enough. What about that inaccessible anterior nodule? That boy thing on its head? That is its head, isn't it? I'm not sure that's bad. How can we get to it? Hey, Rook, run around and look delicious, will ya? There it yeah. is. Concentrate your fire on that nose. Hit it right there! It doesn't like that at all! Yeah, I know. I'm working way? on it. Why are you shooting everything but the glowing thing on its head? I am shooting the glowing thing on its head. Also, these eyeballs will continually respawn throughout this, so take them out when you need to. And try to not get puked on. It. It's not a difficult boss fight. Oh, and uh, be careful of any black slime it leaves laying around. Incoming. It can be difficult to predict when it's going to uh, bite at you, but when it does... Try to jump back so you don't get knocked down. Somebody help. It's a whole swarm. All the nodes are closed. The ghosts are trapped in the now. Right where they belong. Our boy Evo Shandor didn't factor in that he was messing with the Ghostbusters. Ha ha ha! Yeah, Peck made the same mistake. We're gonna have to have a long talk with him. Don't forget that Peter's girlfriend is a Shandor. I'm gonna have a, a very long talk with her. You guys need to get down to the shore and fast. I don't know how much longer I can hold her. The whole island's sinking. Ray, keep the motor running. We are coming at you fast. How? Our pathway out blocked Peter, by slime. Get out of there. like did you get any samples did it have multiple eyes shut up ray shut up oh thank god you're here what's going on janine where's Alyssa? she's gone they took her one minute everything was fine the next it was chaos ghosts flying everywhere janine slow down start from the beginning okay I was a little late this morning because one of the heels on my favorite pair of pumps broke, and lest this was out of my favorite tea, you know how I love my chamomile. Well, and... Okay. Maybe not the beginning. Start where things went haywire around here. Okay. Okay. Somebody jumped me from behind, and before I passed out, I heard Alyssa struggling and yelling, No! And the last thing I remember was the screams of the dead and damned echoing in my brain. So I thought there was a mass escape from Rikers. Or someone shut down our containment grid again. Again? Just like Peck threatened to do. 
It's funny. I always knew that Peck was a pencil-necked bureaucratic prick, but I never pegged him as an evil occultist. But where did he take her? And where are all the ghosts? Because, no offense, but if all the ghosts we've ever caught just escape, I'm clocking out. Yeah, they would be awfully mad at us. Exactly. It's generally a bad idea for the guards to hang out in the cell blocks just after a prison break. This just in. As authorities continue to supervise the Thanksgiving evacuation of Manhattan, increasingly powerful tremors are rocking Central Park. The question is, where are the Ghostbusters? Uh, tell you what, it's kind of a nice day. Why don't we go to Central Park? We can round up some ghosts, save the girl, get back in time for a nap. Okay, the Ghostbusters ride again. I really wish Bill Murray would speak up. Because, uh, he is so quiet. Okay, just letting you guys this know, yeah, that, letting you guys know this now, this is the final mission. So, if you want to take your time to look around the firehouse and examine the artifacts, this is your last chance to do so. Let's do this. Just once. I wouldn't mind running with these other fools away from the trouble. Where's the fun in that? Any guesses on where we'll find Peck and Alyssa? Come on, Rook, you're making this look bad. I suspect that we're going to need the Super Slammer up there. No telling how powerful Peck has grown. That means we gotta take the Ecto-1. I'll drive. Maybe the trainee should drive. Nah! Oh. Thanks, Winston. Any ideas? Would have loved to have not had to go through all this. Ah! Junior's pretty spry, even with that hundred pounds of proton accelerator. Ow! You say so. That was, that was ow there! Make your way around to the other side and open this gate for us. Oh boy. How convenient that all this stuff that sprouted out of nowhere has a sign telling us where to go. Sort of. And it seems we already have an artifact nearby, sort of. Is it around the corner here? Yep. This is new. Whistling bust of Moshus? Stone bust just won't meet your eye, no matter how hard you try. Circa 1734, Friedrich der Mausch was a damned sneak and was always up to something. His bust, carved by the Italian genius Mars Capone, is the exact same way. All right, so once again, we are on our own moving through here. Best be careful. I'm sure desecrating those graves won't uh, come back to bite us in the butt.
Rosarian Codex, it's written that a blood sacrifice and a tremendous amount of spiritual energy are needed to generate the supreme destructor form. A destructor form? Again? Peck probably couldn't draw sufficient energy from the Mandala before we shut it down. He found an alternate source in our containment unit. The energy of the escaped ghosts from our grid might be enough to produce a cross-dimensional event in itself. Yes, and with Alyssa here, I'm sure her Shandor ancestors aren't far behind. Oh boy. Yay, zombies! Just what I wanted to deal with. Pretty sure this is the way we need to go, so let's head the opposite direction. Just in case there's an artifact, but... To be honest, I probably should have uh, alerted us by now. Yeah, no, nothing here. Well, it took the entire game, but we did eventually end up in a creepy graveyard. Sounds like somebody's ringing the dinner bell. Ah, hidden ghost, eh? More of those skulls. I'm pretty sure we got a scan of them, but then again... I don't know if the purple variant is considered different from the green variant that we encountered in the museum. I'm sorry, what was that? You're gonna have to speak up. I can't hear you. You can pretty much use anything to do that can destroy objects to get through these. I just personally think the shock blast is better because it covers... I just personally think the shock blast works best, but that's just personal opinion. Could be wrong, though. No, I'm not wrong. Speed it up there, Tiger. Hey, I'm moving as fast as I can. Hey, I don't want to be down here any more than you guys do. I could have sworn there was an artifact down here. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure there was. Is there supposed to be? Could be wrong, and more than likely I am. I just recall there being an artifact by a bunch of water. But it seems as though that was the only pathway, so... Potentially there's another area with a bunch of water in it. Which is most likely the case. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm recalling that there actually is. Working on it. I'll go with the intern. Nobody should wander around alone in this place. We'll meet you guys a little further on. And yet you made me wander around alone earlier. Granted, nothing really happened, but still. Alright, Ray, let's get a move on.
I see that golem. They aren't very happy about us being here. No, you don't say. Can't go that way. Come on, let me go around. You saw them too, didn't you? They think they're sneaky. Let's spread out and flank them. Yeah, I feel like it might be better to actually stick together. Alright, Grave Reanimators, then we got these little guys. Both of which can be destroyed with, well... Shock Blast. Run. These guys! You may not remember them, but... This was the same guy from the Ghost World. Like the game said a while ago, Mazon Colliders are very effective against them. Run. And for the first time in a while, we have a ghost to capture. Crap. Ah, I need to get Ray back up and get that portal closed. Yeah, like I said, the Maison Collider is the one piece of equipment you never see the other Ghostbusters using. Come on, let's slam dunk him. Nah, screw it. Oh wait, that's his trap. Never mind. Alright, now which way are we headed? Huh. Yeah, well, that's not in our style, ominous voice. Oh, here it is. It's Marblehead cries, sobs, and wails. Circa 1943. Oh boy, I think I know what this is about. This statue originally resided with many others in a fountain in a quiet piazza near the Ponte de Vecchio. Stories have it that during World War II, yep, a squad of black shirts was brutalizing a woman and her small children. When one of the children fell, his head struck the rim of the fountain and he died instantly. Fountain's cherubs stirred to life at that moment, wailing and crying, beseeching, Perce, il duce, perce? Indeed, the stone cherubs never stopped, and that made such an awful and pain-filled sound that the fountain had to be demolished by explosives. A single stone angel head was gathered up by villagers and hidden in a deep well until Mussolini was overthrown, which is the exact moment the head stopped crying. But apparently it has started crying again. Alright, let's keep it moving. Don't know why I'm bothering with this black slime. Oh, we got more baddies. More of these guys, huh? Now, you can also just use the, uh primary fire, and it does do a fair amount of damage. You only get four shots before you have to. Before you have to, uh, reload, but still. If you don't feel like using the whole, uh, combo. Dang it. That'd be right next to me. Stupid column. Hey. Stop bothering me. Adorable as you might be. 
Uh, let's see. Gonna finish this fight, and then I'm probably gonna end it off there because we just ran out of time. Alright, these guys should be the last of the problems we have here. Yeah, I can tell. Cool your heels in there for a while. Okay, I stand corrected. It's three shots before you have to reload. You've got him on the ropes. Okay, that should be that. I think. Let me just take a look around, make sure. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, I'm actually going to end this episode off here for today because we are out of time. But if you guys like what you see, please leave a like. Subscribe for future content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload. Or to hit the straw polling to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.